What if I told you that there once existed a civilization so advanced, so prosperous, that it was considered a utopia but vanished overnight? Welcome to the enigma of Atlantis. In the realm of mystery and intrigue, one tale has captivated the human mind for centuries. The tale of an advanced civilization, an island paradise that disappeared without a trace. The tale of Atlantis. The earliest known references to this enigmatic civilization come from none other than the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. In his works, Timaeus and Critias, he speaks of Atlantis as a place of immense prosperity and technological prowess. A place that would put even the most advanced societies of today to shame. Plato depicted Atlantis as a utopia a beacon of civilization where the people lived in harmony with nature. They possessed knowledge and technologies that were far beyond the comprehension of the ancient world. They had grand palaces, temples adorned with gold and silver, and vast gardens that stretched as far as the eye could see. But what's fascinating is not just the prosperity and the grandeur of Atlantis, it's the mystery that surrounds its sudden disappearance. Plato tells us that this mighty civilization, this utopia, vanished overnight, swallowed by the sea and lost to time. No trace, no remnant of this once magnificent city was left behind. It's as if Atlantis never existed. But if it was just a figment of Plato's imagination, why has it captivated our minds for so long? Could it be that Atlantis was real? Could it be that there was once a civilization so advanced, so prosperous that we can't even begin to comprehend it? Or is it all just a myth, a tale spun by one of the greatest minds in history? These questions have spurred countless debates among historians and conspiracy theorists alike. They have ignited a flame of curiosity that has been burning for over 2,000 years. Plato's tales ignited imaginations and began the timeless quest for the lost city of Atlantis. Plato described Atlantis as beyond the pillars of Hercules. But where precisely does that lead us? Well, interpretations of Plato's description vary wildly, leading us on a journey around the globe. A common belief and perhaps the most literal interpretation places Atlantis in the Atlantic Ocean just beyond the Straits of Gibraltar this interpretation paints a picture of a mighty civilization thriving on an island continent in the midst of the open sea, far from any known ancient civilizations. However, alternative theories propose locations that are far more adventurous. Some suggest Atlantis was nestled in the heart of the Mediterranean Sea. Others argue for more exotic locales, like the sun-drenched Caribbean or even the frozen wilderness of Antarctica. Each theory is backed by a blend of historical, geographical, and sometimes even extraterrestrial evidence, making the search for Atlantis a truly global endeavor. But where was Atlantis, according to the man who introduced us to it? Plato painted a vivid picture of this lost city. He described Atlantis as a city of concentric islands and canals, a feat of engineering that would have been unrivaled in its time. The land was said to be rich in flora and fauna, with fertile soil that bore two crops a year. It was a place of incredible wealth, its mountains teeming with precious metals, and its people living in opulence. Yet, for all its wealth and beauty, Atlantis was not a paradise. Plato described a society that was initially just and noble, but eventually fell into corruption and greed. This moral decay, Plato suggested, led to the city's downfall. And so, the exact location of Atlantis remains a mystery, fueling endless debates and explorations. Whether in the depths of the Atlantic, the heart of the Mediterranean, the warm waters of the Caribbean, or the icy expanse of Antarctica, the lost city of Atlantis continues to captivate us. Its location, like its existence, is a riddle wrapped in a mystery, a tantalizing puzzle that continues to inspire and intrigue us. The exact location of Atlantis remains a mystery, fueling endless debates and explorations. Is Atlantis a mere myth, a historical reality, or a metaphor that Plato used to convey philosophical ideas? 
The theories are as deep as the ocean it's believed to be submerged in. The debate about the existence of Atlantis is as old as the tale itself. Diverse theories abound, each with its own set of proponents and detractors. Some posit that Atlantis was an advanced alien civilization that visited Earth in the distant past. They suggest that the Atlanteans, with their superior technology, could have been the architects of the pyramids of Egypt, the Stonehenge, and other ancient marvels that have left historians scratching their heads. Others propose a different perspective, one that places Atlantis as the home of an advanced prehistoric human society, a civilization that reached the zenith of its development when the rest of the world was still grappling with the basics of survival. These theorists argue that the Atlanteans had mastered technologies and knowledge that the modern world is only beginning to understand. They propose that the Atlanteans' downfall was their own hubris, their reckless pursuit of knowledge and power that ultimately led to their destruction. Then there are those who link Atlantis with the infamous Bermuda Triangle, an area in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean notorious for the mysterious disappearances of aircraft and ships. They hypothesize that the triangle might be a vortex leading to the lost city or perhaps a remnant of Atlantean technology still active after all these millennia. As tantalizing as these theories may be, they are, in the end, theories. The absence of irrefutable evidence makes it easy for skeptics to dismiss them as mere flights of fancy. The believers, however, remain undeterred, their faith in the existence of Atlantis unshaken by the lack of concrete proof. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the allure of Atlantis and its mysteries continues to captivate us. Whether it's a city lost in time, a civilization that surpassed its contemporaries, or an alien outpost, the enigma of Atlantis keeps us questioning and exploring the depths of our past, and perhaps our future. Over the centuries, numerous explorations have been undertaken in the quest to find Atlantis. Did any of them bear fruit? Delving into the depths of the ocean, let's dive into some of the intriguing discoveries that have been linked to Atlantis. First off, let's sail to the waters near Bimini. In the late 60s, a peculiar underwater formation was discovered, now known as the Bimini Road. This formation, composed of large rectangular stones, was thought by some to be a remnant of Atlantis. Yet, despite its mystery, Geologists argue that it's a naturally occurring phenomenon. Next, we voyage to the Mediterranean, to the island of Crete. Here, the ruins of the Minoan civilization were discovered in the early 20th century. The advanced nature of this civilization, coupled with its sudden disappearance around the time Plato claimed Atlantis sunk, led some to speculate that the Minoans were the Atlanteans. However, this theory while fascinating, lacks concrete evidence. Our journey ends in the deserts of Mauritania, where the Richard structure, or the Eye of the Sahara, beckons. This massive circular formation can even be seen from space. Some believe its dimensions and description match Plato's account of Atlantis. But again, there is no definitive proof. These are but a few of the numerous claims and discoveries. Numerous others dotted around the globe, from the Caribbean to the depths of the Atlantic, have also been suggested as possible sites of Atlantis. Each one is as tantalizing and controversial as the next. However, it's essential to remember that none of these findings have been conclusively proven to be Atlantis. The scientific community remains skeptical, often attributing these sites to natural phenomena or other known historical civilizations. So, did any of these explorations bear fruit? Well, they certainly unearthed intriguing possibilities and sparked lively debates. But the enigma of Atlantis remains unsolved, its secrets still submerged beneath layers of time, mythology, and the sea. The elusive nature of Atlantis only adds to its enigmatic charm. Atlantis has transcended the realm of history and mythology to become a cultural phenomenon. The fabled city shrouded in mystery and intrigue, has infiltrated every corner of popular culture, from literature and film to video games and beyond. 
The literary world has long been captivated by the tale of Atlantis. French novelist Jules Verne, renowned for his adventure stories, incorporated the lost city into his classic work, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. In this tale, the legendary Captain Nemo reveals the ruins of Atlantis to his captive guests, sparking a sense of wonder and curiosity that echoes our own fascination with this enigmatic civilization. This fascination is not limited to the written word. The silver screen too has been allured by the myth of Atlantis. The animated film Atlantis The Lost Empire takes viewers on an exhilarating journey to find the submerged city. This Disney production presents Atlantis as a technologically advanced civilization, hidden beneath the ocean, waiting to be discovered. This interpretation feeds into our collective imagination, presenting Atlantis as a symbol of lost wisdom and advanced technology. The digital realm of video games has also embraced the Atlantis narrative. In Assassin's Creed Odyssey, a popular action-adventure game, players can explore a reimagined Atlantis. The game developers have woven the Atlantis myth into the fabric of their narrative, allowing players to immerse themselves in the mysteries of the lost city. But it's not just about entertainment. The story of Atlantis serves a deeper purpose. It offers a cautionary tale about hubris and the potential consequences of unchecked power and ambition. It's a reminder of the fragile balance between civilization and nature and the dangers of overstepping our bounds. So, the influence of Atlantis extends beyond mere fascination with a lost civilization. It's a cultural touchstone that continues to inspire and captivate, to warn and educate. Whether real or imagined, Atlantis remains a symbol of a utopian society and a testament to the enduring power of a good story.